Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two mods to review for you guys. First up we are going to be taking a look at the Sawmill Production Pack version 1.0. Now this is a factory that's capable of making three different products for the price of two. It makes boards, pallets and barrels and all you have to do is put in logs and fuel and you're going to sell these products over at the warehouse. Now the warehouse is that other placeable, the gray one, and that is a sell point for these products plus more that I'm going to be reviewing within the uh, upcoming days. Look at this like a starter pack for what's to come because on the next couple of reviews I'm going to be covering placeable mods and they're all going to require the products that these make so keep that in mind and what I'm going to do guys is discuss a few things regarding these two mods go over the shop and check out some of the specs then I will get them up and running and show you just how this is going to work so let's get started okay guys we'll start over here with the sawmill now once again don't forget this is a starter pack for my upcoming reviews it's going to be a few placeables that are going to require the products that these make barrels boards and pallets you will definitely need the pallets especially now you can sell all three of those products right over there at that warehouse and my upcoming reviews that's where you're going to sell the finished product for that as well so look at this as a starter pack now once again this is a sawmill production pack version 1.0 by the snake font size for this placeable right here is 30 megabytes and once again it makes barrels boards and pallets now you're going to put your fuel in right there guys now you can you have your choice of three different fuel types you can use wood chips straw or wool now straw is going to be your best bet because it's easy to come by but this also makes wood chips in return. You get wood chips that appear here. Now you can take them and put them right back in as fuel. So that's cool. Here's where you're going to drop off your logs. Here is where you're going to pick up your empty pallets once they're made. And there's where you're going to pick up your empty barrels. And your boards are right there. So let's start filling this up first I want to take you over to the shop so we can take a look at this it's going to be under placeables of course and there it is sage work right there for ninety five thousand with a ten dollar a day maintenance fee so very cheap so let's begin to uh, fill this up now I have a tipper with some uh, straw in it right here go over and refuel this guy So yeah, don't forget you get uh, wood chips as a kickback too, so you can put that right back in as uh, fuel. Doesn't hold a whole lot, but it holds a bit. Now let's go over and take a look at that. As soon as we put the uh, logs in there, I'll show you the... Uh, actually, I'll show you right now. Just the screen on here to show you what you need and what it does. See, fuel and logs it needs, and it makes empty pallets all three products and fast is uh no fast is boards empty pallets that's barrels f-a-s-s -S. okay into the scorpion we go one tree should do it for now we'll cut this guy right across the street and yeah you can just put the dirt logs directly on if you just drag them across the trigger There we go, it's enough to get him going. And he has fuel also, so we're ready to uh, start producing some product here. Easy to fill that up when you do it that way. Where is that monitor? There it is. So yeah, we're ready to go here. So I'm going to time how long it takes to uh, to manufacture these guys. I'm going to bring up my clock here. And then we will sell the finished product too and see how much we get for that. So once again, I'll bring up my screen. 13.30 on the clock. I'm going to go 120 speed and speed up the video as well. So I will see you momentarily. Okay. 
Okay guys, it took about two and a half in-game hours. I started at uh, 13.30 on the clock and it's now 1600, so give or take a few minutes. Yeah, two and a half hours in-game time to uh, make a, bear, make a uh, pallet of pallets, or a stack of pallets I should say, and a stack of barrels and a pallet of boards. So let's go sell these and see what we get for them. Start with the boards here. So before I do that, I want to go over this uh, placeable here. This is called the warehouse, and you can sell many products here besides just the three products that that makes. We'll go over that right now. Once again, this is seven me megabytes for this file. Now you can sell white sugar, beer, apples, oranges, uh, Kirsch wine, noodles, canned noodles, homogenized milk, boards, Pallets, barrels, compost, cocoa, bananas, manure, grapes, whiskey, rum, and juice cane. So, all kinds of products. We're going to be covering most of the next couple of days, so keep your eye open for them. Alright, let's take this on over and see what we get for it. So, this is an, an approximate price. Let's see what we get for a stack of these. Now, you can sell these straight up, but you're probably going to want to keep them for the upcoming... Oh, that's quite a big hill there, isn't it? Upcoming placeables. Look at that, I'm stuck to... Oh, look, I started selling them. I might as well keep going. Okay, what did we get through that? 6,374. So that isn't bad at all. And that's just one of the three. So let's go grab the next one. We'll grab the barrels next. So yeah, just to sell them straight up like that is definitely worth your while. But it's the mods that are coming up that it's going to be more exciting about. It up nice and high. It might be just the part of ground I put it on. Maybe it wasn't level enough. Oh, it's not letting me up there, boy. Not with this clerk. But it looks like we can sell them from there. Yes. Let's see what we get for this. How much? 723. That's not very much. But there is three different products. So, And the barrels are going to be good for... Like I keep saying, the upcoming mods I'm going to be reviewing. So look out for my thumbnails, guys. It says the snake on it. It's going to be a mod from him, and you will need this. So, okay, pallets. Let's see what we get for them. Hopefully we won't flip over. I don't want to. Oh, you. Oh, we can, might be able to push that right up. <laughs> Are you selling? There we go. Let's push it. There we go. We even got up there. Well, we get 1,469. That's not bad. Let's go over to the placeables. And yes, there is the warehouse there, guys. $10,000, $0 a day maintenance fee. And there is just some of the things I mentioned there that you can sell. So we'll leave this guy right here. And we'll go through this process again now. 1604. Let's speed up time. Okay, 1833. Yeah, exactly. Two and a half hours, guys pretty much right to the minute so that is not bad considering you get three different pallets of product I don't have a very good bite on that but hopefully that'll be good okay let's flip over <laughs> nice flip Woo okay let's see what we get for that what did we get the first time we got 6,374. Let's see what we get this time. Let's shut this off because it's loud. 6,374. That's exactly what we got. Well, maybe there isn't a... Uh, maybe it doesn't fluctuate. Maybe it's the same price every time. Let's try this one over here. Stack of pallets. Like I said, you're going to be using these for other things anyway, so... I had a heck of a time. I was testing out the other 
uh, mods that this guy made and I had a real hard time finding pallets to work with it. And then I finally bumped into this one thanks to Troy. And this is essential for those upcoming ones, so... Okay, what do we get for that? 1468 That's a, That's $1 less than we got last time. The barrels. Dang, I'm getting up there at least. Let's see what we get for this, guys. We got 723 last time. We don't get much for the barrels, I must say. So, well, same thing, 723 So that is a fixed price, guys. It was only $1 in the difference there, but... uh. There you have it guys. That was the Sawmill Production Pack version 1.0 by the Snake. The file size for that is 30 megabytes. And also the Warehouse version 1.1 cell point. The file size for that is 7 megabytes and that's also by the same person. Once again, this is a starter pack. This will be essential for my upcoming mod reviews. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel it really helps out so until next time guys take care and we'll see you all in the next one